Today, Sock. I feel fantastic, Henry. I've just had a lovely wash, I feel fresh, and I'm very excited. It is a special day after all. Why is it a special day, Sock? Is it your birthday? Is it Easter? Is it your first day of school? Ah, <laughs> even better than all those, Henry. Today is Best Friends Day. And as you know, socks always come in pairs. I'm left sock, and this is my best friend, right sock. She's always right by my side. Isn't that right, right sock? Right sock? Oh, no, Henry, where's she gone? Don't worry, Left Sock. Maybe she's still in the laundry basket. I can see some blue jeans, <laughs> a red jumper, <laughs> some spotty underpants. <laughs> oh, and an envelope with a picture on it. An envelope with a picture on it? That's a bit strange, Henry. What's it a picture of? It's a picture of a sock with a question mark next to it. That's her, Henry, my best friend. Right, Sock. Oh, it must be a clue. A clue? What's that, Left Sock? A clue is something you can follow to help you solve a mystery. I'm sure if we follow the clues, we could find my missing right sock. Oh, if only there was a detective around to help. That gives me a great idea, Left Sock. I could become a detective and we can follow the clues and find right sock together. That's a great idea, Henry. OK, Left Sock. When investigating a mystery, one has to be meticulous with their evidence, cunning in their deductions, and be careful not to jump to any wrong conclusions. Hmm. What does that mean, Henry? It means we should probably hurry up and read the first clue. If you want to find the missing sock, follow the sound of tick, tick, tuck. Oh dear, Henry, what does that mean? Well, Left Sock, what makes the sound tick, tick, tuck? A clock! Precisely! And where can we find a clock? In the hallway. Exactly. Come on, Left Sock. There's no time to lose. Hello, Clock. Hello, Henry. Hello, Left Sock. What can I do for you today? We're looking for Right Sock. Have you seen her? I haven't, I'm afraid. But I did find this, if that's any help. Thanks, Clock. Look, Henry, it's another clue. If you want to find the truth, Talk to the brush that cleans many a tooth. Hmm. Toothbrushes clean teeth. And where would we find a toothbrush? In the bathroom. Exactly. Thanks, Clock. Good luck, Henry. Good luck, Left Sock. Hello, toothbrush. Hello, Henry. What brings you to the bathroom today? Back to clean your teeth again already? Not just yet, toothbrush. We're in the middle of solving the mystery of the missing sock. Have you seen Right Sock around today? I can't say I have, but someone did leave this mysterious envelope lying around here today. <laughs> it's another clue. To get to the end of the trail of clues, go to the place that's best to snooze. Hmm. Well, my favourite place to snooze is in my bed. And your bed is in your bedroom. Exactly. Follow me, Left Sock. Thanks, Toothbrush. You're welcome, Henry. What's going on, Henry? It's really dark. Surprise! Surprise! Happy Best Friend Day, Left Sock. Right, Sock, it's you. You had all this trouble for me. Oh, what a lovely surprise. She wasn't missing after all, Left Sock. She was planning a super secret surprise party. Let's hear it for a lovely pair of best friends. Hip hip, hooray! The day Henry met a sock, he laughed along with everyone. The day Henry met a sock, he made lots of friends that met so much fun. Henry! That's my mum calling me, Left Sock. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry, and thanks for helping solve the mystery and finding my best friend. You're welcome, Left Sock. Have a nice day. Bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met... A coming! <laughs> Hello, Comet. 
comic book. Hello, Henry. How are you today, comic book? I'm fantastic, thank you, Henry. I feel like the luckiest comic in the world. Every day I'm surrounded by amazing toys, cool posters, and all these super comics. Hello, Hello Henry. Henry. Hello, everyone. Um, comic? What is a comic book exactly? A comic is a bit like a storybook, Henry, but each page is made up of lots of pictures that fit into what we call panels. These panels tell the story. Wow, that's amazing, comic book. What kind of stories are there? Let's see. This one is about an alien that crash lands into someone's garden. Oh, oh, and this is a scary one about a haunted house. And this one's about a cowboy in the wild, wild west. Yee-haw! What's your story about, comic book? My story is about a superhero. He comes to help a city under attack from a giant scary robot. How does he save the day at the end? Well, you see, Henry, that's the sad part. There was a mistake when I was being printed. My last few pages are blank, so I have no idea how my story ends. If only there was a superhero around who could help finish my story and save the day. That gives me a great idea, comic book. I could become Super Henry. And you can be my trusty sidekick, comic book boy. And we can finish the story together. That's the Great idea, Super Henry. But wait, my Super Henry hearing is picking something up. What is it, Super Henry? It's telling me that there are people who need our help. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go! Super Henry and Comic Book Boy to the rescue! Thanks, Super Henry! You're welcome, Cars. You're welcome, Container Ship. <gasps> Thanks, Super Henry. You're welcome, Bouncy Castle. Well done, Super Henry. You did a great job. The whole city is safe and happy thanks to you. All in a day's work for Super Henry. But, um, what was that you mentioned earlier? Something about a giant, giant scary, scary robot. robot. <laughs> Comic Book Boy. What are we gonna do, Comic Book Boy? There's no way I can stop a giant scary robot like that. Well, Super Henry, in a comic, the story normally ends with the superhero using their super duper special powers to save the day. But what's my super duper special power then, Comic Book Boy? Well, maybe we could work it out together. It's probably something you're really great at. Good. Thinking, Comic Book Boy. But, hmm, what am I really great at? Well, I think you're really great at making friends. <laughs> That's it. That's my super duper special power. Wait here, Comic Book Boy. I'll be back in no time. Good luck, Super Henry! <laughs> oh, excuse me, Mr. Giant Scary Robot. <laughs> Sorry to bother you, sir. I was just wondering if you... Mm, wanted to be my friend? Yay! Yay! You did it, Super Henry! You saved the city! Robot wasn't destroying the city after all, Comic Book Boy. He was just trying to find a friend. And it looks like he found the most super duper special best friend ever! The That's my mum calling me, Comic Book. I'd best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry. And thanks for helping me finish my story and for saving the city. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met... <laughs> a golf ball! Hello, Henry. How are you today, golf ball? I'm great, thanks, Henry. I just love spending time on the crazy golf course. 
I get to play on the silly seesaw. Woo! The wacky windmill. Wee! Wow! Woohoo! The barmy bumpers. Oof! Ah! Oof! Ha ha ha! And then roll back home into the hole. Mmm. So cozy. Wow, that's amazing. Living on a crazy golf course must be the best thing ever. It is, Henry, but there's one thing I've always wanted to do, but never had the chance. What's that then, golf ball? Is it to go to the beach? Is it to bake a cake? Is it to eat cheese and crackers on the moon? Better than all those, Henry. I've always wanted to play on a proper championship golf course. Like the golfers you see on the TV? Exactly, Henry. Oh, if only there was a professional golfer around to help. That gives me a great idea, golf ball. I could become a professional golfer and we can play on a championship golf course together. That's a great idea, Henry. OK, golf ball, first things first. We're going to need some golf clubs. Did someone say they needed golf clubs? We certainly did, golf bag. What sort of golf clubs would you like, Henry? I have pitching wedge. I hit the ball high into the air, Henry. I have putter. I'm good at hitting the ball straight across the ground. And last but not least, I have driver. I like to hit the ball really far, Henry. Hmm, looks like you're first up then, driver. Oh, don't forget me, Henry. You can't see or forget me. The aim of the game, Henry, is to get me from the tee to the hole in the smallest number of shots possible. OK, golf ball. Here goes. Yeah. Whee! Great shot, Henry. Now hop in, fasten your seatbelt, and I'll take it from here. Whee! Um. Thanks, golf buggy. Come on, everyone. Let's go. Hello, fairway. Hello, Henry. Whee! Oof. Hello, bunker. Yippee! Hello, Henry. Hello, Birdie. Hello, Eagle. Hello, Albatross. Yeah. Hello, Henry! We're doing great. Just one more shot like that, Henry, and we've made it onto the green. Over here, Henry. Be careful, though. It looks like the weather is taking a turn for the worst. Don't worry, golf ball. Leave it to me. Pitching wedge, please. Here you go, Henry. Thanks, golf bag. OK, Green, here we come. Yeah! Woo! Great shot, Henry. It's heading straight for the green. <sighs> oh, no! The wind has blown golf balls straight into the woods. What are we going to do, Henry? I've landed in the worst possible place ever. We'll never make it to the green from here. Hmm. Don't worry, golf ball. I think I have an idea. Put her, please. Good luck, Henry. Thanks, everyone. Wee! Wow! Woohoo! Ah, Woohoo! <laughs> Great shot, Henry. Not only did you make it onto the green, but you even got me into the hole as well. Well done! Thanks, golf ball. Now, who fancies a game of crazy golf? Yay! The day Henry met a golf ball, he laughed along with everyone. The day Henry met a golf ball, he made lots of friends and had so much fun. Henry! That's my mum calling me golf ball. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry. And thanks for helping me play on a championship golf course. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye. I'm coming, Mom. The day Henry met. An ice cream van. <laughs> hello, ice cream van. Oh, hello, Henry. How are you today, ice cream van? Oh, I'm fantastic, thanks, Henry. The sun is shining and the waves are lapping at the beach. It's the perfect day for enjoying ice cream. 
It is ice cream van. I can't wait to spend all day on the beach. Did someone just say that they were spending all day at the beach? It's very important to put sun cream on, you know. Don't worry, sun cream. My mum put lots on me before I came out. Oh, that's excellent, Henry. But remember to top up again later and have some time in the shade too. Oh, and don't forget to wear a hat. Will do, sun cream. Will do. In fact, I know just the thing to help me keep cool. One ice cream cone with extra chalk chip fudge sauce, please, ice cream van. Oh, sorry, Henry. I have some bad news, I'm afraid. The ice cream seller is on holiday and he won't be back until tomorrow. That's terrible news. Did someone just say we can't have any ice cream? But we've been really looking forward to some ice cream. And it's the hottest day of the year. Oh, no, Henry. Look at that queue. It looks like everyone at the beach wants ice cream. Oh, if only there was another ice cream seller around to help. That gives me a great idea, Ice Cream Van. I could become an ice cream seller and I can make the ice creams and serve them to everyone. Oh, yes, that's a great idea, Henry. Right then, first customer, please. Can I have um, a vanilla ice cream with a, with a chocolate flake and strawberry sauce, please? Coming right up, Lilo. Thanks, Taff. You're welcome, Henry. OK, first things first. I need a cone. Here I am, Henry! And then I need some vanilla ice cream. There you go, Henry. And to finish it off, I need a chocolate flake and some strawberry sauce. Woohoo! Huh? <sighs> there, all done. Thanks, everyone. You're welcome, Henry! There you go, Lilo. Oh, thanks, Henry. It's delicious! Oh, well done, Henry. You're doing a great job. But, oh, look at that queue. It's huge. Oh, it's going to take forever to serve all those customers. Don't worry, Ice Cream Van. If we all try extra hard and work together, I'm sure we'll serve them all in no time. Ready? Oh, ready, Henry. Next customer, please. Can I have a double mint chocolate chip sundae, please? There you go, Parasol. I'd like a cherry ice lolly, please, Henry. <laughs> there you go, Donkey. May I have a banana sundae split, please, Henry? <laughs> there you go. Oh, well done, Henry. You did it. Every single customer has been served. Hem, hello. Ex excuse me. Can I have a vanilla ice cream, please, Henry? Oh, I'm sorry, Tiny Bucket. I didn't see you down there. One vanilla ice cream coming up. I'm sorry, Henry. I'm afraid we've run out of vanilla ice cream. <laughs> oh, no, Henry. Oh, we can't have an unhappy customer now, can we? Don't worry, ice cream van. I think I have an idea. Oh, tiny bucket. I didn't have any vanilla ice cream, but how about this? A super duper Henry special. Wow, thanks, Henry. It's the best ice cream I ever tasted. The day Henry met an ice cream van. That's my mum calling me Ice Cream Van. I'd best be off. It was really nice meeting you. Oh, the pleasure was all mine, Henry. And thanks for helping me serve all the customers. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met a dinosaur bone. Hello, Dinosaur Bone. Hello, Henry. How are you today, Dinosaur Bone? I'm great, thank you, Henry. I just love living in the museum amongst all these amazing fossils. Hello, Hello Henry. Henry. Hello, fossils. Dinosaur Bone, what exactly is a fossil? 
Well, Henry, fossils are made when living things die and are trapped within rock for millions of years, like these fossil skeletons here. Hello, fossil skeletons. Hello, Hello Henry. Henry. But how did the fossils get into the museum? There are special scientists called paleontologists, Henry, whose job is to find fossils, dig them up and bring them to the museum so we can learn all about them, just like this really fragile, one-of-a-kind dinosaur... <laughs> ...egg! Oh, no, dinosaur bone! What are we going to do, Henry? If only there was a paleontologist around who could travel back in time to help find another dinosaur egg! That gives me a great idea, Dinosaur Bone. I could become a paleontologist and we could travel back in time and find another dinosaur egg together. That's a great idea, Henry. OK, first things first. If we want to find a dinosaur egg, we're going to have to find a dinosaur. Good idea, Henry, but where are we going to find a dinosaur? Don't worry, Henry. It's just a brontosaurus. They're herbivores. What's a herbivore? It means I only eat plants and vegetables, Henry. Om, nom, nom. I was just wondering, have you seen any dinosaur eggs lying around? I haven't, I'm afraid, Henry. <laughs> but I have an idea that might help. Wow, thanks, Brontosaurus. We have a great view from up here. But this place is so big, it's going to take us all day to find that dinosaur egg. Well, we'd better get started then. Let's go! Good luck, Henry! Thanks, Brontosaurus! Hello, Triceratops. Have you seen any dinosaur eggs today? No, I haven't, I'm afraid, Henry. I haven't been too busy collecting fruit. Fruit salad, everyone! Hut, hut, Hello, Pterodactyl. Any chance you've seen some dinosaur eggs around? <laughs> I'm sorry I haven't, Henry. I've been too busy getting the kids ready for their flying lessons. Wait for me! Hello, Ankylosaurus. Have you seen any dinosaur eggs around? I haven't, sorry, Henry. I've been too busy practicing my swing. Four. We've looked all over, Henry, and we still haven't found a dinosaur egg. Don't worry, Dinosaur Bone. Let's have a little sit down on these rocks and come up with a new plan. Henry, that's not a rock. It's a dinosaur egg. We did it, Dinosaur Bone. And considering we're 65 million years in the past, I think things have gone pretty smoothly. Oh no, Henry, it's a dead end. Now we're in trouble. Please don't eat us, giant scary dinosaur. Mama. There you are, my scaly bundle of joy. Are you okay? I've been worried sick. T Rex wasn't trying to eat us at all, Henry. She just wanted her baby back. Sorry, T Rex. You should never touch any unhatched eggs, okay? Okay, T Rex. I pinky promise. And besides, I think I've had enough adventure for one day. The day Henry met a dinosaur bone, he laughed along with everyone. The day Henry met a dinosaur bone, he made lots of friends and had so much fun. Henry! That's my mum calling me dinosaur bone. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry. And thanks for helping me find a new dinosaur egg. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met... a tow truck. <laughs> Hello, tow truck. Howdy, Henry. How are you today, tow truck? I'm great, thanks, Henry. I just love being a tow truck and using my winch to pull stuff around. If I see someone broken down or stuck in the mud, I just have to tow them to safety. Well, you look like you've been very busy, tow truck. There are piles of old cars everywhere. Hello, Hello Henry. Henry. 
I know, Henry. The monster truck derby started last night, and they've been racing around, crushing cars faster than I can tow them away. Ready or not, here I come! Phew, that was a close one. Oh. I love my job, Henry, but you know, one day, I wish I could be a monster truck, having fun racing around, crushing cars, and driving through the mud, instead of always being the tow truck, cleaning up the mess. I think you'd make a brilliant monster truck. You do? Well, thank you kindly, Henry, but oh, look at me. My old engine is tired as a mm. mule. My paintwork is rustier than a box of nails, and shucks, I've seen bigger wheels on a little kitty's tricycle. I'd never make a good monster truck looking like this. If only there was a mechanic around to help. That gives me a great idea, tow truck. I could become a mechanic, and I can fix you up. Ready for the monster truck derby. Well, gee whiz, that's a great idea, Henry. Okay, tow truck. First things first. We need to raise you up so we can change your tires. Oh, leave it to me, Henry. Big or small, I can lift anything at all. <sighs> Thanks, Jack. You're up next, Electric Wrench. Okay, Henry. Thanks, everyone. You're doing a great job. We're not finished yet, Tow Truck. Come on, everyone. Let's get to work. Hello, Super Chunky Tires. Hello, Henry. Hello, turbocharged engine. Uh, hello, Henry. Hello, spray paint cans. Hello, Henry. Yay! Well, Henry, I look like a real life genuine monster truck. Thanks ever so much. You're welcome, tow truck. Now let's get racing. Ready? Good luck, tow truck. Steady. May the best monster truck win. Go, go, go! <laughs> Woo How am I doing, Henry? You're doing great, tow truck, but be careful. There's a big jump up ahead. Yee-haw! Thanks, Henry! Great job, tow truck. Next up is the mud bath. Okay, Henry, here I go! Whew! That was hard work, Henry. I'm not sure if I can keep up this pace much longer. You're almost there, Tow Truck. It's the final straight. And look, Monster Truck is stuck in the mud. You can't lose. <sighs> Did you say Monster Truck was stuck in the mud? Help, help. Oh no, Henry, what are we gonna do? I wish I still had my winch. That way I could pull him to safety. Hmm, hold on, Tow Truck. I think I have an idea. <laughs> there you go, Tow Truck. What do you think? That's perfect, Henry. Don't worry, Monster Truck. We'll have you at no time. Thanks, Tow Truck. Hooray! Well done, Tow Truck. You won the race. Thanks, Henry. I did love winning the race and being a Monster Truck and all, but, you know, I think I love being a Tow Truck and helping people even more. Oh, and Henry, do you think I can keep the new paint job? Of course you can, Tow Truck. You look totally brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> the day Henry met a tow truck, he laughed along with everyone. The day Henry met a tow truck, he made lots of friends and had so much fun. Henry! That's my mum calling me tow truck. I'd best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry, and thanks for helping me take part in the Monster Truck Derby. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met... A telescope. <laughs> Hello, telescope. Greetings, Henry, my dear boy. How are you this evening, Telescope? I'm wonderful, thanks, Henry. It's a positively splendid night for a spot of stargazing, don't you think? Just look at that spectacular, clear, starry sky. Wow, it's beautiful, Telescope. There must be a bazillion stars. Uh, more like one billion trillion, Henry. One billion trillion? 
That's quite a lot, Telescope. How on earth do you keep track of them all? Excellent question, Henry, my boy. We look for stars that are grouped together. We call these groups constellations. Then we give them names so we don't forget them. Here, take a look. Over here, we have Orion, the hunter. Hello, Henry. This is Ursa Major, the great bear. Brr. Hello, Henry. And this is Taurus the Bull. Hola, Henry. Hello, everyone. Wow, that's so interesting, Telescope. Who comes up with the different names? Whoever discovers the constellation, Henry, they get the honour of naming it. Have you ever discovered a constellation, Telescope? I wish I had, Henry. I've been out here night after night for years, but had no luck at all. Oh, if only there was an astronomer around to help. What's an astronomer, Telescope? An astronomer is someone who studies stars, planets, moons and other celestial objects. That gives me a great idea, Telescope. I could become an astronomer and we can find a constellation together. That's a marvellous idea, Henry. OK, Telescope, let's see what we can find. Hello, Moon. Oh, hello, Henry. It's lovely to see you again. You too, Moon. I wonder if you can help me. I'm just looking for a new star constellation. Have you seen one? I've seen a satellite, a space station and even some meteors. But I haven't seen any new constellations, I'm afraid. Oh, not to worry. Thanks, Moon. Never mind, Henry. The night is still young and there's plenty more stars in the sky. You're right, Telescope. Let's keep looking. Hello, Henry. Hello, Comet. Hello, Henry. Hello, UFO. Hello, Henry. It's no use, Henry. We've been searching the sky all evening and we haven't found a new constellation anywhere. Maybe we should call it a night. Don't give up just yet, Telescope. We still have one last spot to check. What's that telescope? Is it a planet? Is it a meteor? Is it a strange alien life form from the planet Blippity Blop? Ah, oh, no, unfortunately not. It's just a smudge on the lens, Henry. It must have got dirty after all this stargazing. Don't worry, telescope. I'll go and give it a quick clean for you. Thanks, Henry, but be careful. My lens is very delicate. There, all done. Henry, quick, look! You're not going to believe what we've just found! Wow! That's amazing, Telescope! It's a brand new constellation, Henry! And it looks just like me! <laughs> In that case, I now declare this the Henry Super Amazing Constellation! The day Henry met a telescope he laughed along with everyone The day Henry met a telescope He made lots of friends and had so much fun Henry! That's my mum calling me telescope. I'd best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry. And thanks for helping me find a brand new constellation. You're welcome. Have a nice evening. Bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met... A tennis racket. <laughs> Hello, tennis racket. Hello, Henry. How are you today, Tennis Rocket? I feel great, Henry. Just practising my forehand, you know. Jolly important to warm up those strings before a big championship tennis match. Oh, I love sports, but I've never actually played tennis before. How do you play? It's easy, Henry, old boy. You just have to hit the tennis ball back and forth over the net, but if you miss or the ball bounces more than once, the other player gets a point. And what are these white lines for? That's the tennis court, Henry. 
You have to try and keep the ball inside the court at all times if you want to win. Wow! Tennis sounds like so much fun, but I best be off. I'm sure you have to prepare for the big championship match. Well, you see, I've not played in a big championship match in a long, long time, Henry. Why is that? Most tennis players don't want to use an old wooden racket like me. And without a tennis player, I can't play a match. Oh, if only there was one around. That gives me a great idea, Tennis Racket. I could become a tennis player and we could play in a championship tennis match together. That's a great idea, Henry. Oh, hey guys, how's it going? I'm sure you're doing great. I know I am. Anyways, good luck to you. I made a best racket win. Aw, he was nice, wasn't he, Tennis Racket? Oh, Henry, dear boy, did you see that carbon fibre frame, those reinforced strings? An old wooden tennis racket like me will never beat a spiffing new tennis racket like that. Don't worry, tennis racket. We just have to remember to try our best and have fun. Here we go! Yeah! Yeah! Love to new tennis racket, new tennis racket winning 15 love. You cannot be serious! Oh no, tennis racket. Looks like this is gonna be tougher than I thought. Yeah! All right! Oh. Woohoo! Yeah! Yeah! Oh. Yeah! Oh. Oh. This isn't going very well, Henry. Phew. I know what you mean, Tennis Racket. We haven't won a single point yet. Are you guys okay over there? Of course you are. I know I am. I can't wait to see you both back on the court. Oh, and don't forget, never give up. He's right, Tennis Racket. We have to be more positive. Just listen to that crowd. Come on, Henry. You can do it. All right, Henry. With the crowd on our side, there's no way we can lose. Ready, Henry? Ready, new tennis rackets? Then let's go! Yeah! Steady, Henry. Now! Yeah! 15 love to Team Henry. Team Henry winning 15 love. At last, Henry! Our first point! Looks like we might just have a chance after all! Yeah! Match point, Team Henry. Team Henry, match point. This is it, Henry, my boy. It's match point, which means we only need one more point to win the championship. OK. Let's give it our best shot. Yeah! 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 Whoa! Woohoo! We did it, Henry! We did, Tennis Racket. But you can't have a great match without a great opponent. Come on up, new tennis racket. You deserve this trophy just as much as us. Oh, wow. Thanks for sharing the trophy with me, you guys. You're welcome, new tennis racket. Hooray! The day Henry met a tennis racket. He laughed along with everyone. The day Henry met a tennis racket. He made lots of friends and had so much fun. That's my mum calling me Tennis Rackets. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry. And thanks for helping me win the championship match. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye, everyone. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met. A skateboard. Skateboard. Hey, Henry, dude. How are you today, skateboard? I'm totally stoked, Henry. It's the day of the big extreme sports event, and I just came up with a brand new trick. Would you like to see it? I'd love to, skateboard. I call this the double loop de doo Here goes. Whoa! Wow, that was amazing, skateboard. If you thought that was good, Henry, check out my friends. This is BMX. This is scooter. This is rollerblades. Hello, everyone. 
Hello, Henry! That was so cool, skateboard. But it looks a little dangerous to me. Can be, Henry, dude. That's why it's, like, totally important to wear all the right safety gear. If you don't, you could end up like my skateboarder. He had to go home because he fell off and hurt his knee. Oh, no. That's terrible news, skateboard. It gets worse, Henry. I just realized without a skateboarder, I won't be able to enter the big extreme sports event. Oh, if only there was another skateboarder around to help. That gives me a great idea, skateboard. I could become a skateboarder, and we can enter the big extreme sports event together. That's a totally bodacious idea, Henry, dude. Okay, skateboard. First things first. I need to check all my safety gear. Knee pads, elbow pads, and helmet. Check, check, and check. Good work, Henry. Are you ready? Ready, skateboard? Let's go! <laughs> Hello, half pipe. Hello, Henry. Hello, rails. Hello, Henry. Hello, loop the loop. Hello, Henry. That was totally awesome skateboarding, Henry, dude. All you have to do is nail this last obstacle, and you've completed the course. No problem, skateboard. What's the final obstacle? It's the super-duper gravity-defined jump of doom. Hello, Henry. Hello, super-duper gravity-defying jump of doom. It's going to be totally bodacious, Henry, dude. First, we have to speed down the super steep ramp. Then we have to jump over two buses, a jumbo jet, and a bouncy castle full of lions and tigers. Oh, on second thoughts, Henry, dude, I don't think this is such a good idea after all. But we've come so far, skateboard. It would be a shame to give up now. And don't forget, I'll be with you the whole way. You're right, Henry. And I'd love to show my friends I can totally do this. Come, Come on, skateboard! skateboard. You, you can do it. it! That's the spirit, skateboard. Ready? Steady. Go! Jumps just up ahead, Henry. Hold on tight. Will do, skateboard. Will do. Wahoo! Hello, Henry! Hello, Jumbo Jets! Oh, hello, Henry! Hello, Lions and Tigers on a bouncy castle! Oh, hello, Henry! Oh, no, Henry, dude! We're never gonna make it! It's totally too far! Don't worry, skateboard! We still have one more trick up our sleeves! Remember? The double loop de doo Great idea, Henry, dude! Wahoo! We did it, Henry! We completed the big extreme sports event and totally nailed the double loop de doo We did, Skateboard. But the best thing was that I made some totally awesome friends. Yeah! Today, Henry met a Skateboard. He laughed along with everyone. Today, Henry met a Skateboard. He made us a friend. That's my mum calling me skateboard. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry. And thanks for helping me take part in the big extreme sports event. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met... Broccoli! Broccoli. Hello, Henry. How are you today, Broccoli? Can't complain, Henry. Can't complain. By the way, can I interest you in any lovely, healthy fruit and veg today? Oh, yes, please, Broccoli. I love fruit and vegetables. I even have an apple tree in my back garden. An apple tree sounds lovely, Henry. Just like these two lovely raisins. Don't eat them all at once. Hello, Henry. Here we have half a pound of strawberries, twice the taste, half the price. Hello, Henry. And last but not least, we have a bunch of grapes. They were so delicious. Someone's already eaten most of them. Hello, Henry! Hello, everyone. Any of those tickle your fancy then, Henry? <laughs> they look lovely, but... Mm, where's the rest of the fruit and veg? 
Oh, sorry if the shelves look a little empty, Henry. I'm just waiting for a fresh delivery. Fresh delivery for the green grocer? Anyone seen the green grocer around? Oh, I'm sorry, delivery trolley. The green grocer is out for lunch, but I can take the delivery for you. Thank you kindly. I'll just pop this box down here, shall I? Thanks, delivery trolley. Oh, and I've popped the rest of them around the back. OK. Anyway, moustache. Bye-bye. The rest of them? Oh, no, Henry. I'll never be able to sort through all these boxes on my own. If only there was another green grocer around to help. That gives me a great idea, Broccoli. I could become a green grocer and we can sort all the fruit and veg and restock the shelves together. That's a great idea, Henry. OK, Broccoli, with all this delicious, healthy, fresh fruit and veg everywhere, it's really important we don't drop any, we don't squash any, and we definitely don't squeeze any. Right you are, Henry. OK, Broccoli, let's go! Hello, Juicy Melons. Hello, Henry! Hello, Sack of Potatoes. Hello, Henry! Hello, lovely bunch of coconuts. Hello, Henry! <laughs> you did a great job, Henry. The shelves are full of delicious fruit and veg. Thanks, Broccoli. But we're not finished yet. We should probably do a roll call to make sure we have everything before the shop opens. Good thinking, Henry. OK. First up, bananas. Here! Cabbages. Here! Pineapples. Here! Carrots. Here! Avocados. Here! Tomatoes, pears and grapes. <laughs> and last but not least, apples. Mm, apples? Oh, no, Henry. There must have been a mistake with the delivery. There's no apples. What are we going to do? Hmm. Don't worry, Broccoli. I think I have an idea. What are we doing in your back garden, Henry? Remember I said I had an apple tree? Oh, yes, of course. Good thinking, Henry. But the tree's so tall, how are we going to get the apples down? Leave it to me, Broccoli. Excuse me, apple tree. Would you mind if we had some of your apples, please? Oh, of course not, Henry. Be my guest. Just have to have a little shimmy shake. Whee! Watch out below! <laughs> Apple tree. You're welcome, Henry. Well done, Henry. You did it. You collected the apples, and now the shop is fully stocked and ready to go. No problem, Broccoli. All in a day's work for Henry the Greengrocer. The day Henry met Broccoli, he laughed along with everyone. The day Henry met Broccoli, he made lots of friends. That's my mum calling me Broccoli. I'd best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry, and thanks for helping me get the shelves stocked full of lovely fruit and vegetables. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye, everyone. I'm coming, Mum. <laughs> <laughs>